Simple things like getting up and down stairs when it comes to mobility as we age get more difficult. Our next guest's name is Paul. He owns Midwest Medical Services. He's going to show us some affordable, simple solutions. Let's go find him. Paul, welcome back to the program. Our topic, obviously, is Midwest Medical Services. Before we get into what we're doing on the project side of things today, tell me about your company, where you're located, and maybe some of the products and services you provide. For Midwest Medical Services, we're located in Watertown, South Dakota. Many of the things we do are a topic that we have now is called home modifications, where we come in and make the home more handicap accessible. We retrofit bathrooms, platform lifts, anything to make your home more accessible. It's not always practical to move to a new handicap accessible home. So the retrofit is, I would imagine, a huge segment of what's going on in today's society. It really is. Many times people have lived in their homes their whole lives. Their, their home is paid for. It's where their memories are. It's where all the family has gathered their whole life. So it's a lot easier than moving grandma and grandpa, mom and dad. It's a lot easier just to retrofit the home. You know, and I don't think homeowners really understand that. Um, when you look at maybe a new home costing hundreds of thousands of dollars to put, let's say, a stair lift in is, is really an affordable solution. It, it really is. All these things I just mentioned are under $10,000. Now, that's a lot of money, but it's not a lot of money in comparison to what you just mentioned. This particular project is a bathroom retrofit. What does that mean? What that means is many times in a bathroom, it's one of the hardest areas for falls or the most common areas for falls. One in three adults over the age of 65 fall every year. So, and that's only more compounded in a bathroom with the wet surfaces getting over the tub, etc. What we're gonna do in this bathroom is we're gonna remove the old tub shower and we're gonna install a low threshold. It's four inches. It's called a walk-in shower. And, and all we have to do is install it, it comes in pieces. I got a plumber, I got subcontractors that take care of this for me. And by, in a few short days, we're gonna have a four inch shower that's easily accessible. Well, Paul, in addition to um, the retrofit that has a four inch lip in this application, there's also what's called a barrier free shower base or zero entry it's, it's another level of accessibility. So instead of the four inch threshold, some customers and patients can't even navigate over that, but we can do a barrier free where you actually can sit in the shower chair in the bathroom and roll yourself in and then use the handheld, which also has an on off switch. You're not spraying yourself with water. Use the handheld to clean yourself and you don't even have to leave the shower chair. Now, Paul, in addition to residential, you also work in commercial applications, correct? Correct. And in fact, you did a project here recently at the University of Sioux Falls. Tell me a little bit about that. That was a fun project for me because I am a graduate of the University of Sioux Falls, so I had some nostalgia there while I was doing that one too. But they needed access to their um, library, and the old ramp they had was actually not even uh, to code anymore. And so we came in, we removed that ramp, we installed a commercial grade ramp. And if you go by the University of Sioux Falls, Norman V. Mears Library, you can actually see the ramp we installed. Well, Paul, thank you so much for sharing some projects with us and giving us more uh, product and service information. Again, if you have a mobility issue, I highly recommend you call Paul and his staff at Midwest Medical Services. Thanks for being on.